Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you have not been here before, and thank you so much for watching this video. So, as you guys know, I chopped off my hair not that long ago, and I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love it, short hair has been an adjustment for me. It's been very hard to get used to styling this hair, but I think I've finally somewhat got the hang of it. I really, really like this technique that I've been doing that actually my hairstylist showed me, and you guys seem to like it too. I've gotten so many requests on this channel and on Instagram on how I do my hair like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I am starting off with freshly washed hair. I washed it and blew it dry this morning. Very rare occasion for me. I only wash my hair like once a week. So yeah, clean hair for once, feels great. So I am going to start out by sectioning off my hair. So what I do is just take this bottom layer, leave that out. So everything right below my ears. And I'm gonna take all the rest of my hair and throw it up in a little scrunchie. Just have this little silk scrunchie. I think this is by the brand Slip. I will link them below. These are awesome because they don't leave like gnarly kinks in my hair. So I got the inspiration for this hairstyle from my hairstylist, the girl who has been cutting my hair, coloring it for how long now? Maybe like two years. She is the best. Her name is Ali Gallego. I will for sure link her information down below. This is how she styled my hair when she chopped it off and I was like, I don't think I've ever been more in love with the way my hair looks than it does now. She did such an amazing job. So I'm going to attempt to kind of replicate what she did. Um, I should have been paying more attention because she did it so amazing and I'm like, how the heck do I do it exactly like you? So I'm gonna try my best to somehow replicate what she did. So we're going to be using two different hair techniques today. One of them will be actually curling the hair, like a normal curl with a curling iron. And the other one is going to be waving it with a curling iron, which I've showed on my channel before. So I will definitely link some videos below for you guys so you can see exactly how I wave my hair, like get that kind of like crimpy mermaid wave look. Um, and I am using a one and a quarter inch curling iron. This one is from Fabulous. This is the one that my hairstylist Allie uses. So I'm super excited. Let's just go ahead and get started. So what she does is she will alternate these different techniques. So she'll do one strand of hair where she curls it normally, and then she'll do the next strand of hair, you know, crimping it. So Actually for the bottom, I have a hard time curling my hair. So for the entire bottom, I'm just going to wave it in that kind of crimpy look. Once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. So I'm actually gonna use the Way Hair Care Memory Mist. This has heat protectant in it and I just spray my whole bottom half of my hair. And as you can see from blowing my hair out, I definitely have this kind of like curl to the bottom of my hair. Um, I don't really mind it right now while I'm like starting my hair but if I feel like it's too like curly weird in some spots I'll go in with a straightener afterwards so as you can see I clamped down the underside of my hair and then I just burned my ear so that was fun and then I'm going to take the next section and go the opposite way and I'm just gonna keep going down my hair Just like that. I just create my waves just like this for the entirety of the bottom section. I kind of try this next section, I'm going to do them like vertically. Um, the last section, I left my barrel kind of horizontal. So that kind of helps make the waves look a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Like not so uniform. And you obviously can do this with a waver if you want to. Um, if you guys watched my waiver video, I don't prefer using a waiver. I like doing this technique way more just because I feel like I do get a little bit more control over the way that my waves look versus a waiver just looks a little too like uniform in my opinion. But some people they do it so well and I'm like, how the heck do you do this? 
Like, I think I'm pretty good at hair. Like, relatively good. I like the way my hair looks. But I cannot figure out how to use Waver and make it look natural. I could probably give it another go. Try again, maybe. But I have such a hard time making it look nice. Just looks so stupid on me, in my opinion. Short hair has definitely been an adjustment for me. Like, I think it looks so cute, but I definitely have a harder time styling it. So even this technique, like, I've, this is probably like the fourth time I've tried it since having short hair. It's a bit of a struggle. It's not always easy, but I would definitely say keep trying and this way that I'm showing you guys today is the best way that I've come to like figure out how to do it myself. So with this next section of hair I am going to be alternating my different kind of waves that I'm doing. So for this first section I'm going to be curling my hair. Um, I've never actually shown this technique on my channel but a lot of hairstylists use it. It's kind of difficult to get used to right away, so don't get discouraged if you can't do it. Um, but basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be curling your hair like the normal way using the clamp. And then you're going to hold it for a few seconds and then you're going to kind of unwind the hair and then pull your barrel down a little bit more and wrap it again and then let it loose. So it's just a different style of curling the hair that I feel like gives you a bit more of like a natural wave look like i said it's a little bit more difficult to get used to right away especially on your short hair it's not the easiest but once you learn how to do it it's like life-changing i swear the curls look so nice so i'm going to start like about that much hair so I'm just creating one little wave here. I'm going to unwrap it and then I'm going to, oh, my hair strainer just turned off. And then I'm pulling it down. So I'm not, I'm gonna let them like sit right now. I don't wanna like mess with it yet. Um, and then I'm going to wave this next piece of hair and I've been like, doing it like this. I'm going to start with the barrel on top this time, or the clamp on top, rather. Oh, that really hurt when I touched my ear. So obviously, since we're alternating, the next section of hair is going to be curled, but I'm going to alternate which direction I'm curling my hair. So the first time we were curling out, this time we're gonna be curling in. So you obviously turn the curling iron to the opposite direction. Hold that for a few seconds. Unwind it. And release. And it really helps if you do kind of pull down your hair at the end. Obviously you're not like yanking on it but if you don't do that you might get like a kind of weird kink in your hair i had to learn that the hard way and i'm going to wave it again literally just doing this over and over and over again so let's go ahead and speed things up guys One thing that I quickly want to mention is that if you're not comfortable with curling your hair using like the barrel and twisting out thing technique that I'm showing you, if you feel more comfortable just like using it like a wand, that totally works too. It's just a matter of preference, I guess. I like to use the technique that my hairstylist does, but it really doesn't matter. You're just creating loose waves more than anything. I'm literally just using the same exact technique that I've been using all along where you're just 
alternating pieces. So, gonna keep doing that. Okay, for the very, very top section, I just hit myself in the eye with my hair. Cute. So I am putting it in the middle. For the very top section, I'm not going to do the crimping technique. I'm just going to be curling it. And I basically am going to start, obviously, at the front, pretty much like this first section of my hair here all of the curls are going away from my face and then I'll alternate the rest of the hair one going towards my face one going away from my face so on and so forth and I personally just like the way that that looks I don't love when I have curls that are going towards my face super super close to the front of my hair I don't know why I just don't like it I'm gonna try to make these as soft as possible. I don't like the curl in the front of my hair to be like super defined. Can I just burn my hair? Okay, hair is completely curled, and now I'm just going to kind of rake through my curls, just loosen them up a bit. I don't know, there's just a something about this hairstyle, like adding those crimps in there that just gives the hair a little bit more texture or something to it. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Okay, so there's definitely a few pieces that I do want to kind of straighten out. If you guys can see this piece here that's kind of like curling a little bit too much at the bottom. So I'm just going to lightly hit it with my curling iron straightener, not curling iron. Just kind of mess with some of those pieces that are just like looking a little bit funky. I don't want it to be completely like blunt straight at the bottom. Like I like how some of these pieces just look really nice and messy and they're kind of like curling out different ways. But some of the pieces that are just like a little too curled or like sticking out just a little too much I am going to touch so this is what it's looking like after I just messed it all up and the next thing I want to do is add some major texture spray to it for hold and just to kind of like grunge it up a little bit so what I'm gonna be using today is the living proof perfect hair day body builder. I like to use as much body as possible so I'm going to turn the nozzle to the more body direction and I'm literally just gonna like kind of lift up my hair
spray it and kind of like crunch it. Move it around a bit. And it just gives it a little bit more grit, dimension, and texture. Which is exactly what I want. And that's really it guys. You can like kind of part your hair every which way you want to. You can throw it to the side and it still looks super cute this way too. And yeah, I just absolutely love this hairstyle. I think it looks adorable. It looks really nice and big and textured, voluminous, super, super fun. And this lasts on me a good amount of the week. Usually I have to like refresh a couple of the curls just from like sleeping on it and stuff. But I like the way it kind of loosens up. Second day hair is usually my favorite. So thanks so much to those of you who requested this look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out a little bit with styling short hair. It's still definitely a work in progress. Like, I like the way this looks, but I am such a perfectionist. I would like it to look so much better than this. So I'm definitely going to keep working on it. And definitely let me know if you guys try it out. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your looks. And if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see from me, please let me know. You can go ahead and leave them in the comment section. I love hearing you guys' suggestions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would so appreciate that. And comment down below another request for a video. If there's anything else you'd like to see from me or maybe what your favorite hairstyle is. Is your hair long? Is your hair short? What's it look like? Let me know. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. And come follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of fun stuff over there as well. As always, I will make sure to link my outfit details, my jewelry details, um, everything that I use today, all of that stuff will be linked down below as well. My Poshmark is down there and my other social channels, all my camera equipment. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!